And now, let's go. We're presenting you. Seriously, ignorant news. S I N. Just ignorant. It's a little disturbing. Ignorant. I could understand if it was 200 years ago. Seriously? For real? S I N. Seriously, ignorant news. Damn it, at home in the snow at Riddles in Chicago tomorrow. Then he's back on the road. Catch him Friday in Detroit. He'll still be in the snow, you know. At the Corner Ballpark and Saturday in Houston. No snow there, but rain. For the HBCU Scholarship Comedy Jam at the Ensemble Theater. For tickets, go to HBCU Comedy Jam Eventbrite.com. Senior Chief Correspondent Damon Williams reports from Chicago on a drugstore employee who must have graduated from Trump University. Seriously, Damon? Seriously, Tom, as serious as a dropout at a high school reunion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> act like they forgot. <laughs> you ain't nowhere in the yearbook. <laughs> and and by, by you, I mean me. Anyway, <laughs> good morning, y'all. How's everybody doing? Hope you're warm and safe. Hey, Damon. Hey, Sybil. Sherry Kim. Yes. Good morning. How you doing? Good. good. Glad to Everybody's hear nothing. good, Damon. Thank you. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right, this comes from West Lafayette, Indiana. Now, some CVS officials said they're investigating a claim by a Purdue University engineering student who was denied the purchase of some over-the-counter cold medication because the employees at the Indiana store asked him for license. So what happened, he's, he's doing the self-scan. He got When he got to the cold medicine, it said it requires a clerk and some ID. So he pulls out his ID. When the clerk comes over, the clerk says, let me see your ID. He pops out the ID. The clerk looks at it, said, I need a, a valid uh, U.S. ID or, or, or something. And so he said, uh, I am, this is a valid U.S. ID, but the ID was from Puerto Rico. <laughs> and now, the young the man US. is Hispanic. <laughs> <laughs> his name is Jose Guzman Payano, okay? Uh-huh. He told them, he said, that, you know, this is, this is valid in Puerto Rico. The lady said, no, I'm going to need some type of uh, a visa or some immigration status or something. Wow. Now, this is West Lafayette, Indiana. I don't know if anybody ever <laughs> been up to West Lafayette, Indiana, but it's one of them places like uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. You should better be a packer or passing through. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the talk about Wisconsin. So, the, the le- thank you, Kim, for uh, kicking in now. Um, <laughs> And for those of you listening who don't know that Puerto Rico is the, in the United States, uh, president. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. So then it goes on. The lady goes on to say, so he pulls out a passport. She said, look, I need a visa and some type of immigration status. And then mm. a manager also said, well, that is our policy. We got to have some U.S. identification. The man said, Puerto Rico is a territory of the United States. So he left and a friend came and took him to a Meyer and he got his cold medicine. But his mama was not having it. His mother went on to put a post on Facebook, which was gaining steam all year and went practically viral. And she said, this is what's wrong with the United States. People are ignorant, basically. I'm paraphrasing. So the moral of the story is, everybody out there, especially if you're a redneck in West Lafayette, <laughs> Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens. Yes. And if you have an orange face and... Bl- and anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just keep it moving. Seriously. As serious as Drake every time he hears the song Booed Up right now. Um, <laughs> oh. Booed Up. Turn it off! Anyway. <laughs> this next story comes from Louisiana. A man of, uh, was, was intoxicated and he was trying to avoid a DUI. So he decided to grab an electric powered shopping cart from the Subway Walmart. Took the shopping cart and went bar hopping about a half a mile away uh, when the police came and said, hey, hey, this is not your cart. What are you doing with the cart? He said, well, I didn't want to get a DUI. I thought if I drove my car, I might get in trouble. So he took the little scooter. Now, turns out you can't do that. He was still charged with a DUI and unauthorized use of a movable. Now, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know there was a charge for a movable. So that means if he got a shopping cart and pushed it down the block, I guess that's a movable too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So the man facing charges still, but that left at least he was safe. I mean, if he could have took his car and ran somebody over, might have hurt and killed somebody. You hit somebody one of them scooters, you're bound to knock off the back of an ankle or something. But people will live seriously, <laughs> and that's why I think alcohol should have been illegal before weed. 
Point to your life from Chicago and Detroit. He's cold. Yeah, he's cold.